Today we're going to take a look at a couple of rifles, both a semi-automatic as well as a bolt-action rifle, both coming in under that $200 retail price tag. Yeah, we're going to be talking a little bit about squirrel hunting on a budget, so let's go. What's up crew, it's Chris with Clover Tack and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on Clover Tack, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button below. While you're down there, if you want to stay up to date on all the new content that comes out on the channel, go ahead and click that notification bell as well. Since we are out on the range and we're going to be doing live fire today, safety always first. Got my eyes on, going to put my ears in. Now you may notice uh, checking out these just extreme ear pro from axel here in performance today also while we're out here and uh, talking about being safe and all that stuff we need to talk about the hunting situation as well talking squirrel hunting today and uh please 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 before you grab those rifles before you head off into the woods make sure you check with your state's fish and game or wildlife department whoever regulates uh, hunting in your state that way you know all the rules and regulations that come with hunting without further ado let's talk a little bit about the rifles we're going to be taking a look today we've got first of all the mossberg international 802 plinkster this is a bolt action rifle uh, box magazine fed of course both of these are going to be 22 long rifle and like i mentioned at the very first of the video that sub 200 dollars retail price category uh, i think makes them great for uh, squirrel hunting applications on a budget. We're going to test that today. I've got some targets downrange of some squirrel and we'll take a look at those and where you're going to want to land those shots if you're squirrel hunting is going to be from about that front shoulder forward. Uh, just behind that front shoulder, that's going to be your vital area. It's going to be the lung, the heart, that good stuff. And of course the headshot is going to always work and save the most meat. And the second rifle we're going to be taking a look at is going to be uh, an old school Marlin Model 60. Uh, now this is a newer version. If you follow the channel, you know I'm a collector of these type rifles. This is a newer version, I would say, produced within the last decade, maybe two, something like that. Uh, so definitely indicative of what you would get brand new on the shelf if you was to go shopping for this rifle today. Now the ammunition I've got loaded up in these rifles today is going to be Winchester Super X. This is just my choice of ammunition when it comes to squirrel hunting. I don't really use it for plinking or anything else, uh, just hunting. We're going to start out with this Marlin Model 60. And you may notice this is kind of a new setup that you're looking at here. This picnic table uh, is about 50 yards back on the range. I would call that excessive for squirrel hunting, but for our demonstration purposes today to show how two cheaper budget-minded rifles can perform when it comes to squirrel hunting. I do want to push those limits just a little bit. Yes, I'm going to be sitting at this table, but I'm not going to rest my elbows or anything on the table. I want to take these shots offhand. Uh, similar scenario as to if maybe you were doing a woods walk while you were hunting or something like that. So five shots downrange, 50 yards on the squirrel target. Here we go. And that'll do it for the Model 60. I can't see where the shots landed. They all felt good. Let's uh, go down and take a look. So here we are taking a look at the target. Remember I said anything from just behind that front shoulder forward. Uh, it's probably meat in the freezer and all five of those shots pretty much land within that area. So uh, that Model 60, uh, not bad. Definitely, I think anyway, can uh, get squirrel meat on a budget without any problem. Let's take a pause for the cause. Question of the day. I'm just curious if you do any squirrel hunting, and if so, what's the firearm that you use for that application? Jump down in the comments below and let me know. Moving on, let's take a look at a little bolt action rifle. Now, this little rifle, uh, a little bit newer model, that Marlin Model 60 been out since the 60s. Uh, the Mossberg International 802 Plinkster here, 
A uh, little newer model than that, of course, hasn't been out, but maybe a couple decades, few decades now. Uh, Cost-wise, again, sub $200 retail price category on this. It is a bolt action, but has that 10 round box magazine. And it's gonna be a little bit lighter than the Marlin, a little bit shorter than the Marlin, uh, but will it be able to put meat in the freezer like the Marlin? We're gonna find out. I've got obviously another target down range. And uh, yeah, let's put five onto that squirrel target. See if we can get meat. Here we go. There is one. There is two. There's three. The stars are lined good. That one felt really good. There's four. Last shot, last squirrel. Now, is that going to be 10 squirrel in the freezer? I don't know, but let's go down range and take a look at the target. Here we are down range, taking a look at the target. I don't know that that's as tight of a group as the Marlin Model 60, uh, but as far as being all the shots being right around, you know, that front shoulder and forward, they're certainly there. I think we can count that uh, without a doubt as five more squirrel, five more tree rat in the freezer. So there you go, crew squirrel hunting on a budget. I think that uh, regardless if you're using the Marlin Model 60 little semi-automatic 22 or you're using the little Mossberg uh, International 802 Plinkster 22, I think um, it's pretty safe to say at this point they can get the job done uh, for all your squirrel hunting needs. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.